हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू डूइंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग ग्रेट इन नीट एग्जाम यू वुड बी हैविंग सम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कॉल्ड एज एसर्शन एंड रीजन्स एंड आई नो दैट इट्स सॉर्ट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजिंग वेन इट कम्स टू दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स to solve such type of questions so let's get started with how to solve assertion reasoning questions for your neat exam so very important tip that you should be knowing is to answer such assertion and reasoning type of questions you should have known the topic or concept basically you should have understood a particular concept or topic to answer such questions and the second important thing is you have to take time to read the statements that is usually assertion and reasoning type of questions if you see it would be having assertion as a statement reason another statement so you have to take time to understand these two statements first you have to give time to read it properly and to understand this particular uh, you know uh, statements properly and make sure that you are reading this individually or i can say independently so there is a question over here assertion says overgrowth of water hyacinth leads to death of fishes in the aquatic body so before going to the reason you have to first read this independently and understand is it right or wrong and then go with the reason which says water hyacinth drains oxygen from water so just understand is this statement is right or wrong so first you have to read these two statements independently and the next tip i can say if in case if you feel like okay assertion is correct that is overgrowth of water hyacinth leads to death of the fishes in the aquatic body yes this is correct statement right so if you feel like both of these two statements are correct this the reason says the second statement says water hyacinth drains oxygen from water that is true right so if you feel both of these two statements are correct now you have to go for to find the relationship between these two two statements now you have to look are we able to find any relationship between these two statements or is it two individual separate statement which are correct right now since overgrowth of water hyacinth leads to death of fishes in the aquatic body yeah this is a correct statement cause of the overgrowth of water hyacinth uh the fishes and uh, other you know organisms can die yeah this is a correct statement water hyacinth will be draining the oxygen from the water that is a correct statement now what is the relationship between these two let me just explain so since water hyacinth drains the oxygen from the water cause of this cause of the water hyacinth draining the oxygen from the water the other fishes are or you we will be able to see death of the fishes so basically we are able to find relationship between these two statements that is reason is a correct reason for this particular assertion why the water why the fish in the aquatic body is dying because water hyacinth so when i add the word because after assertion if the answer is reason then i can say that option a is correct which says if both the assertion and reason are true the reason is a correct explanation of the assertion i repeat when i add the word because after assertion and then i try to read assertion and reason if i am able to make sense if i am able to say that oh this reason is the answer for my assertion then the option a is correct which says assertion and reasons are correct and reason is a correct explanation for the assertion if there is no connection between these two statements if i add because the answer for the assertion is not been given in the reason it means i have to go for option b which says 
both assertion and reasons are correct but reason is a not correct explanation for assertion okay so the confusion is when both the statements are correct imagine if one of the statement is wrong it's simply easy to answer between c and d okay so the main problem when uh, is uh, in in the assertion and reasoning type of questions is when both the statements are correct there is a problem that do we are, are we able to see the connection or not so that is little confusing next tip is definitely you have to practice 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 and if in case if you are wrong when you are practicing uh, how do you practice basically get some uh, 10 15 20 assertion reasoning type of questions answer carefully answer all of these questions uh, once you answer just check how many questions you are right how many questions you are wrong okay so while practicing okay you will get to know okay you you have done some mistakes like two three uh, questions you went wrong so analyze why you are wrong analyze that is it because you did not know the concept you are wrong or is it because you haven't understood the relationship so that's very important to know okay so it's very important to practice practice and analyze for example humans are called continuous breeders humans are reproductively active throughout imagine if i if i wasn't knowing that humans are continuous are called as continuous breeders what would i do if i if i did not knew this concept i would go for option saying that assertion is wrong right assertion is wrong i'm not very sure that statement is there here or not <clears throat> then it means my concept is not clear but imagine i make mistakes between these two i make mistakes between these two that is now let's first see the question and let's answer first and then let's analyze humans are called continuous breeders yeah we are continuous breeders right we are not seasonal breeders there are two types of breeders as you all know continuous and seasonal humans are reproductively active throughout so as we know how do we find that these two statements have got relationship first of all this st second statement is correct humans are reproductively active throughout we can reproduce any month that we want right so both of these two statements are correct now the confusion comes that is the option is a or b so what i have to do i will put the word because so when i put because let me read it now humans are called as continuous breeders because i should be able to find answer in my reason if a is right right so humans are called continuous breeders because humans are reproductively active throughout so what should be the right answer for this question definitely a because my assertion has the answer in my reason got it simple okay imagine if in case if i get confused between these two a and b then it means my trick to uh, you know answer assertion and reasoning type of questions is not correct okay so this is all for today i wanted to make you understand that is i can say it's not exactly a tricks and tips it's the way to solve assertion and reasoning questions this is the way the right way i can say so let's meet in the coming video until then bye